So where did the idea of the labyrinth come from? It could have come from the faculty at the School of Chartres, or the clergy, or perhaps the Mason. And my best bet is that it's the Mason, because Daedalus, who was the mythical architect of the Cretan labyrinth that held the Minotaur, was embraced by the Masons of the Middle Ages. In fact, some posit that the labyrinths were actually like a signature for the Masons. And as you might know, in the Chartres Cathedral, at one time, the center held a plaque of Theseus and the Minotaur. In French, the word for maze is Dédal, which comes from the word Daedalus. So in fact, the path pattern that we know as the Chartres Labyrinth developed over several hundred years. Most of it was done in the drawings in, in manuscripts in the margins or at the ends of chapters or on fly leaves. And usually when they're talking about Easter or the passage of time. So what the Mason did at Chartres was take these patterns and add the proportions, the petals in the center and the lunations. So this, this drawing was from a Cistercian monastery in Pontigny from the 10th century. And this drawing on the left is probably the very oldest one. You can see that it has the elements of the Chartres pattern, including the turns. They're not really drawn, they're kind of little squiggles there, but they're all there. And this was drawn in 862 and the labyrinth was built in 1201. So almost 350 years earlier. And during that time, various manuscripts were um, um, included the drawings of the labyrinth. And as I mentioned, in, in the center of the labyrinth was once a plaque that portrayed Theseus and the Minotaur. It was removed during the Napoleonic War, along with all of the bells to make cannonballs. So it's kind of the opposite of beating your swords into plowshares. 